In molecular biology and genetics, the sense of nucleic acid molecules often DNA or RNA is the nature of their roles and their complementary molecules nucleic acid units roles in specifying amino acids. Depending on the context within molecular biology, sense may have slightly different meanings. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> DNA sense Molecular biologists call a single strand of DNA sense or positive plus if an RNA version of the same sequence is translated or translatable into protein. Its complementary strand is called antisense or negative sense. Sometimes the phrases coding strand for sense and template strand for antisense are encountered. However, protein coding and non-coding RNAs can be transcribed from the sense strand. Additionally, the terms sense and antisense are relative to the RNA transcript in question and not to the DNA strand as a whole. In other words, either DNA strand can serve as the sense or antisense strand for a particular RNA transcript. In some cases, RNA transcripts can be transcribed in both directions i.e. on either strand from a common promoter region, or be transcribed from within introns on either strand see ambisense below. Topic. Antisense DNA The two complementary strands of double-stranded DNA, DNA are usually differentiated as the sense strand and the antisense strand. The DNA sense strand looks like the messenger RNA mRNA and can be used to read the expected protein code, for example, ATG in the sense DNA may correspond to an August codon in the mRNA, encoding the amino acid methionine. However, the DNA sense strand itself is not used to make protein by the cell. It is the DNA antisense strand which serves as the source for the protein code, because, with bases complementary to the DNA sense strand, it is used as a template for the mRNA. Since transcription results in an RNA product complementary to the DNA template strand, the mRNA is complementary to the DNA antisense strand. The mRNA is what is used for translation protein synthesis, hence, a base triplet 3 TAC5 in the DNA antisense strand can be used as a template which will result in an 5 August 3 base triplet in mRNA August is the codon for methionine, the start codon. The DNA sense strand will have the triplet ATG, which looks just like August but will not be used to make methionine because it will not be used to make mRNA. The DNA sense strand is called a sense strand not because it will be used to make protein it won't be, but because it has a sequence that looks like the protein codon sequence. In biology and research, short antisense molecules can interact with complementary strands of nucleic acids, modifying expression of genes. See the section on antisense oligonucleotides below. Topic. Example with double-stranded DNA DNA strand 1, antisense strand transcribed to RNA strand sense DNA strand 2, sense strand Some regions within a double strand of DNA code for genes, which are usually instructions specifying the order of amino acids in a protein along with regulatory sequences, splicing sites, non-coding introns, and other complicating details. For a cell to use this information, one strand of the DNA serves as a template for the synthesis of a complementary strand of RNA. The template DNA strand is called the transcribed strand with antisense sequence and the mRNA transcript is said to be sense sequence the complement of antisense. Because the DNA is double-stranded, the strand complementary to the antisense sequence is called the non-transcribed strand and has the same sense sequence as the mRNA transcript though T bases in DNA are substituted with U bases in RNA. A note on the confusion between sense and antisense 
Strands. The strand names actually depend on which direction you are writing the sequence that contains the information for proteins the sense information, not on which strand is on the top or bottom that is arbitrary. The only real biological information that is important for labeling strands is the location of the 5 feet phosphate group and the 3 feet hydroxyl group because these ends determine the direction of transcription and translation. A sequence 5 feet CGCTAT 3 feet is equivalent to a sequence written 3 feet TAT CGC 5 feet as long as the 5 feet and 3 feet ends are noted. If the ends are not labeled, convention is to assume that the sequence is written from left to right in the 5 feet to 3 feet direction. Watson strand refers to 5 feet to 3 feet top strand 5 feet 3 feet, whereas Crick strand refers to 5 feet to 3 feet bottom strand 3 feet 5 feet. Both Watson and Crick strands can be either sense or antisense strands depending on the gene whose sequences are displayed in the genome sequence database. For example, YELO21W, an alias of URA3 gene used in NCBI database, defines that this gene is located on the 21st open reading frame orf from the centromere of the left arm L of yeast y chromosome number V e, and that the expression coding strand is Watson strand W. YKLO74C defines the 74th orf to the left of the centromere of chromosome 11 and denotes coding strand from the Crick strand C. Another confusing term referring to plus and minus strand is also widely used. Whether the strand is sense positive or antisense negative, the default query sequence in NCBI blast alignment is plus strand. Topic. Ambisense A single-stranded genome that contains both positive sense and negative sense is said to be ambisense. Bunyaviruses have three single-stranded RNA SSRNA fragments containing both positive sense and negative sense sections. Arenaviruses are also SSRNA viruses with an ambisense genome, as they have two fragments that are mainly negative sense except for part of the five feet ends of the large and small segments of their genome. Topic: <laughs> Antisense RNA. Antisense RNA is an RNA transcript that is complementary to endogenous mRNA. In other words, it is a non-coding strand complementary to the coding sequence of RNA, this is similar to negative sense viral RNA. Introducing a transgene coding for antisense RNA is a technique used to block expression of a gene of interest. Radioactively labeled antisense RNA can be used to show the level of transcription of genes in various cell types. Some alternative antisense structural types are being experimentally applied as antisense therapy, with at least one antisense therapy approved for use in humans. When mRNA forms a duplex with a complementary antisense RNA sequence, translation is blocked. This process is related to RNA interference. Antisense nucleic acid molecules have been used experimentally to bind to mRNA and prevent expression of specific genes. Antisense therapies are also in development. In the USA, the Food and Drug Administration (FDA) has approved phosphorothioate antisense oligos fomivazin and mipomycin for human therapeutic use. Cells can produce antisense RNA molecules naturally, called microna, which interact with complementary mRNA molecules and inhibit their expression. <laughs> RNA sense in viruses In virology, the genome of an RNA virus can be said to be either positive sense, also known as a plus strand, or negative sense, also known as a minus strand. In most cases, the terms sense and strand are used interchangeably, making such terms as positive strand equivalent to positive sense, and plus strand equivalent to plus sense. 
Whether a virus genome is positive sense or negative sense can be used as a basis for classifying viruses. Positive sense Positive sense 5 feet to 3 feet viral RNA signifies that a particular viral RNA sequence may be directly translated into the desired viral proteins. Therefore, in positive sense RNA viruses, the viral RNA genome can be considered viral mRNA, and can be immediately translated by the host cell. Unlike negative sense RNA, positive sense RNA is of the same sense as mRNA. Some viruses e coronaviridae, have positive sense genomes that can act as mRNA and be used directly to synthesize proteins without the help of a complementary RNA intermediate. Because of this, these viruses do not need to have an RNA polymerase packaged into the virion. Negative sense Negative sense 3 feet to 5 feet viral RNA is complementary to the viral mRNA and thus from it a positive sense RNA must be produced by an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase prior to translation. Negative sense RNA like DNA, has a nucleotide sequence complementary to the mRNA that it encodes. Like DNA, this RNA cannot be translated into protein directly. Instead, it must first be transcribed into a positive sense RNA that acts as an mRNA. Some viruses influenza, for example, have negative sense genomes and so must carry an RNA polymerase inside the virion. Topic: <laughs> Antisense oligonucleotides. Gene silencing can be achieved by introducing into cells a short antisense oligonucleotide that is complementary to an RNA target. This experiment was first done by Zamechnik and Stevenson in 1978 and continues to be a useful approach, both for laboratory experiments and potentially for clinical applications antisense therapy. If the antisense oligonucleotide contains a stretch of DNA or a DNA mimic phosphorothio-8-DNA, 2 f -ana, or others, it can recruit Nase H to degrade the target RNA, this makes the mechanism of gene silencing catalytic. Double-stranded RNA can also act as a catalytic, enzyme-dependent antisense agent through the RNAi, CERNA pathway, involving target mRNA recognition through sense-antisense strand pairing followed by target mRNA degradation by the RNA-induced silencing complex risk. The R1 plasmid hoc sock system provides yet another example of an enzyme-dependent antisense regulation process through enzymatic degradation of the resulting RNA duplex. Other antisense mechanisms are not enzyme-dependent, but involve steric blocking of the target RNA e.g. to prevent translation or induce alternative splicing. Steric blocking antisense mechanisms often use oligonucleotides that are heavily modified. Since there is no need for Nase H recognition, this can include chemistries such as 2-O-alkyl, peptide nucleic acid PNA, locked nucleic acid LNA, and morpholino oligomers. See also Antisense therapy Directionality molecular biology DNA DNA codon table RNA virus Transcription Translation Viral replication <laughs>